Hey everyone, Cruz here, and welcome back to Snow Plowing Simulator. So today's finally the day we're getting a snow plow, you know, like a real one that attaches to our tractor or truck. It's gonna cost us $37.50, but uh, we have like, you know, almost 100 bucks extra. Let's go ahead and do that. And yeah, if you missed out last time, we had a little bit of a setback just because of uh, tool durability and all that. But um, hopefully everything's pretty good this time. I also eventually do need to kind of change our tires. Where is um the plow? Oh, it's over here. Ah, okay. So I guess we have to drive either our tractor or the pickup truck to just kind of attach there. Seems like the most random location. I guess they kind of wanted to be out of the way. I would, I would have probably just put it over here. Okay, but do we take the truck or the little tractor? I'm almost thinking the little tractor just because we really haven't used it all that much, you know? And hey, we get to, you know, kind of see our character. Uh, P to mount the plow. Got it. Okay, so this is going to be um, a couple different controls, right? So R to lift or lower the plow. Okay, so we just got a couple positions here. Let's see, let's just do a quick test drive. Oh, this is actually quite a bit quicker than I thought. And it does show the durability here. So we have a uh, hundred kilometers of clearing, apparently. Let's see, what do we have on the map? So we already did all the ones on the side over there. So we actually have a couple streets. How about we just kind of head over to Faith Avenue and clear that out? I'm assuming that's going to open up that like manor or whatever. Okay, so I believe this is Faith Avenue right over here. And I'm just thinking, um, the one downside to having the tractor instead of the truck is that we don't really have a place to warm up. It doesn't seem like our temperature is really going down too much, so... Yeah, we'll kind of see how it works out. So we could click T to kind of turn it. Well, let's just kind of lower it and kind of see what happens. Oh, this is going to be incredibly efficient. Man, that's kind of bright. Okay, we'll turn that off. And, oh, that might be the problem, too. We don't really have, um... Maybe enough grip or power to go up the hill. Oh, I didn't think of that. Uh-oh. We're just kind of tumbling down. Okay, so the tractor wasn't even making it back up the hill. So we're just going to kind of stick with the truck here. Seems like the most logical choice. Let's go ahead and place it down once again and get to a bit of clearing. And yeah, this has way more speed. Gosh, we could just kind of hopefully zoom through this. It's not going to be the most even or precise or anything like that. But, um, yeah, it'll definitely get the job done. Hey, okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, we gotta go, like, right up to the gate. Okay, I'm assuming at the gate, that's what we're, uh, we'll kind of use, like, one of our tools. Okay, and now to safely back down the hill. But, man, yeah, that just that one kind of strip there was already 37.2%. This is, uh, definitely the way to go, that's for sure. And only 0.2 durability used, so not bad, not bad. Seems like it'll last us quite a while, as long as I, you know, probably don't bump into too many things. Okay, let's try that again, but um, apparently when it's on the truck, you can't really turn it. So you're kind of just stuck with it, kind of facing to the left. Interesting. So on the tractor, you get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more movement, and oh, it does kind of push a little bit of a line. Or maybe that's just me not hitting that. As well as I think I am. Yeah. It's just me not being very precise. That's all it is. Okay, okay. Oh, don't hit it. Oh, that was a little bit of a bump. But I uh, didn't do any damage as far as I'm aware of. Can we do this backwards? Oh, we kind of can. Okay, so I should have just kind of left it. Or maybe not. It seemed like it was doing a little bit, but uh, not anymore. Okay, really just don't want to damage the thing. I don't care about the truck. That's okay. Hey, okay with me. Oh, wait, it does turn. Okay. Uh, oh, it has to be lifted up to turn it. Got it. Okay, I understand. I understand. Okay, so this is going to take a, you know, maybe like three or four passes more. It's not the most precise tool, that's for sure. All right, so most of the road's actually looking pretty dang good. Just a little bit of cleanup here and there. So got that little side. This tiny little streak there, and then I think I missed a little bit of the corner here. But um, I think the majority of it's just going to be kind of by the fence or gate over there. Yeah, that pretty much did absolutely nothing to the percentage there. 
I mean, we're already at 99.1. I could probably turn it in. And just do a little bit of cleanup here, hopefully. Uh, I just don't want to mess up our, our tools as we learned last time. Oh, that was a bad hit. I think that did a little bit there. Yeah, I'll just uh, kind of stick to the shovel. It's not too much to really clean up there. Okay, 99.9 might just uh, kind of be the best we get here. Oh, I kind of left that down. I don't know if that's good or bad. I keep clicking E as well. Let's see, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, it was actually already up. Okay, never mind. But let's go over to the sign and see how much we get paid for that. I feel like it should be a lot, but also it might not be because, you know, we use like a truck to make it easier. So Faith Avenue and, oh my goodness, 3,400 bucks. I kind of honestly thought it was just going to be a, wait, hold on, 185. What happened to that 3,400, huh? Was I just bamboozled? Yeah, I only got $310. What the heck happened there? That thing, I, I swear that thing said 3400 You guys all saw it? Yeah, max $9,400. I have absolutely no clue. But hey, we did unlock the cemetery. Let's go uh, see what that's all about. Because I am definitely interested in a, a little bit more Yeti lore or whatever is going on around here. And, you know, a cemetery kind of seems like the place that you would get a lot of that information. I just kind of wish I could bring the tractor because that feels like it's uh, more maneuverable over here. Let's see. Let's just open up the gate. Clear the snow from the cemetery itself. Just be careful. It's a cemetery after all. Am I going to be, like, haunted by ghosts? So this one could pay up to 1200 bucks. And has uh, 256 meters squared. Recommends like the little tractor thing. It's got a couple lines there. Can we bring the truck into the property? I haven't really quite tested that. Oh, I think we can. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is like a cheat code. Again, the tractor is much more suitable than just driving a truck up here. But um, this is probably the next best thing. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It does kind of clear a little bit of the edge if you go backwards, but, uh, try to avoid that as much as possible. Oop, I thought I was going to clip the gate. Okay, let's go for the other side there. Give that a good pass. You know, like, as, as long as I could get kind of the majority of it with the truck, I am a-okay with that. Because, yeah, that's already 61%. I can kind of push it towards the stairs. I think they got, yeah, they got all of that. Jeez, this is, uh... A real workhorse, that's for sure. Probably all I need for the tractor to make it better. It's just better tires. This has a little bit more grip, you know? But I am definitely curious as to, uh, you know, why is it saying, you know, be careful, it's a cemetery. Maybe after the job, something will kind of pop up. That'd be pretty cool. Again, there's the story of that ghost girl at those swings. So who knows? Yeah, this, uh, this plow is an absolute game changer. Already at 99.7. Uh, just a couple things here and there by the gate. So I'll kind of get out and do those manually. I don't know why it keeps doing that, but, um, oh well. Let's close that up. And we'll just use our petrol snowblower. I thought this thing was absolutely amazing, but, uh, obviously an actual plow makes a world of difference. Okay, just a little bit more. Again, it seems to count it once you get it there. Oh yeah, 100%. Let's see, how much was this one supposed to pay? Like, uh, 1200 maximum, right? How much do we actually get? Are we getting a... Oh my goodness, 4,900. It kind of feels like we got what we, um, what the sign said down there. Good job, were you able to talk to this haunted character? The priest has a lot of acquaintances in the city. He recommends you to one of them to clear the snow from the factory grounds. I think we already have that unlocked. This is a job for a pickup truck with a good plow. Okay, where is it going to say, um... The figure appears. Abigail Blackwood. Hey, at least it's daytime, but, you know, it's still a cemetery. Don't know, uh, what to expect. Or where to expect, really. Watch me go up to someone and it's not, uh, the priest lady or whatever. Oh gosh, and I'm so dumb, I keep forgetting on the bottom of the screen there's, um, actually a little marker. And there's like a little mystery thing. Somewhere around here? That might pop up at night, though, as we've, uh, kind of learned previously. Or, 
Oh, it's locked. Yeah, there's like a a thing in the corner. Hold on. Maybe the maybe Abigail will give us something. That's a pretty ominous place to be standing at, you know? Get out of here. This place is haunted. So are the surrounding mountains. Have you seen what's in the tombs? It's a terrible thing. I see all sorts of signs. I feel it with my whole self. I feel it in my soul. This is real. But this is not fiction. Have you ever visited these mountains? Their energy is completely different. I have seen amazing phenomena. Heard unusual sounds. This cannot be passed over in silence. Evidence, evidence, evidence? Sure. Okay, I understand your position. But I don't want to pry into anything personal. But if you're ever ready, open up about it. Let me know. I'd be happy to share with you my experiences and attempts to understand the mysteries that await in this area. Uh, let me try to be nice and say, like, ah, maybe you're right. Oh, so maybe I just chose kind of the the wrong thing. Okay, let me egg her on and, like, be like, oh, tell me more. Oh, no, you have to come to the conclusion yourself. The only thing I'll suggest to you is to pay attention to open tombs. Vampires, ghosts? No, no, I'm sure the Antichrist is the answer to these questions. That is the explanation that best fits all this phenomena and signs I see. I respect your opinion, but I invite you to experience these mountains for yourself. You'll hear what I did. So kind of what she said earlier. Yeah, I'm not really getting uh, too much more out of her. But she did say to check out like empty tombs again. We do have that thing marked over there. But uh, probably wouldn't hurt just to kind of look around just a little bit. I find it strange that there's just like a random light over there. But, um, none of these seem really open. As far as I can tell, you know? Even on the other side, it seems like most of them are closed. We have a couple of these. Which are, like, semi-open, but, um... Again, can't really go into them. Is this perhaps open now? No, it still says Wicket. Maybe we have to, like, clean out the snow in front of it? Or am I missing a lever or something? It doesn't seem like there's like a like a passage or anything as far as I'm aware of. Because yeah, it's definitely there in the corner. I just don't really have a, a way to get to it. Yeah, I don't think we're really going to figure out too much there. So how about we head back to the store? Because uh, we have a good chunk of cash. Maybe we can get some good wheels. Because yeah, that was me turning all the way to the right. And as you saw, still uh, kind of drove into the side there. You know, a bigger plow might be nice. But um... I think we just kind of need, like, traction <laughs> right now. That's a, a big thing. But hey, uh, food has become a lot less of a worry. Just because, uh, you know, once we're in the, the truck, we don't really have to worry about too much. Okay, let's park that there. We'll still, you know, kind of heat up a little. Maybe have, like, a croissant or something. But uh, let's check out the store over here. Ooh, okay, so all the tires are completely unlocked. We could get chains... For uh, three thousand dollars, but man, those really don't last all that long. Only fifteen point eight kilometers. I'm kind of thinking maybe we go with some spike tires again. It's a pretty big improvement. It goes from 0.4 to three. So yeah, let's try those out. Kind of see how that works out. And I just kind of want to take a look because yeah, the next plow is uh, eight thousand dollars. But I feel like we could probably get most things done with a L01. Let's get some good breakfast here for 14 bucks, And then I'm just a little curious because we still haven't really tried any of this stuff. How about we get some coffee? Yeah. I am a coffee aficionado myself here. Let's see. Hot coffee. Warm me up and get some energy. Did that count? So we got 98 coffee portions. I feel like I uh, didn't really do too much there. I guess because we're already kind of warm, that's okay. So then the tires will be in the the garage area or something it said. Oh, okay, they're over here to the left side. So I uh, guess we just click and put them on. And then now the universal tires are off. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then, of course, we have some food. Let's just have a quick croissant. Yep, yep, yep. Get some energy going. Close that. And let's uh, give us another test drive here. Oh yeah, look at that. Look how much we could actually turn. How's our braking? Uh, not the best, but you know, it's definitely usable. That's for sure. Yeah, we're not just uh, kind of sliding around. But again, I do have to be kind of conscious of uh, durability. Oh my gosh, we're getting some crazy speed there. Okay, I do believe this is uh, one of the roads. We have to clear Juniper Road or Juniper Way LP, sure. Let's see, let's just kind of start getting to work on this. 
Again, it should be much easier with the, the better traction. But uh, it is a pretty dang big road, that's for sure. Got uh, two sides or maybe three. Oh, I don't know what I hit there. Probably wasn't good for the plow, that's for sure. Uh-oh. We, we still good? Yeah, 1.6 kilometers used. But see, those uh those miles add up really, really quickly. Haven't even gone too far, so I can only imagine how quickly we're going to go through these tires. So, uh, really got to be methodical with their use. And oh my goodness, does this street just kind of keep going? Because, uh, yeah, it's been at like 10.8% for um quite a while. And I could kind of see why. Okay, maybe I'm a, a little in over my head. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's just give it a quick pass down the road here. Hopefully I can get back up. Oh, that's some pretty quick speed. Yep, Crystal Road isn't open for passing. But man, there's like a tunnel and everything here. Again, pretty excited to really explore more of the map. Let's give this another pass here. Oh yeah, I went back down to 7%. Um, Yeah, I'm really thinking that's a, a job for a bigger plow. It's, it's doable. It's going to take probably forever. Okay, but maybe water drive is a little bit more manageable. Let's see how long that is and uh, kind of what percentage we get. I think the percentage just kind of jumps up kind of randomly because it's still loading in kind of chunks of it. But um, I think the 6.8 is the, the real percentage. Gosh, this is not going to be a very clean line here. And oh my goodness, that's a steep hill. That's absolutely wild. Okay, please tell me this stops, like, right there. Nope, just load it in more. Oh, but it leads to, uh, a school, I think. That's what it kind of seems like, right? Yeah. Again, it's doable. Just gonna, gonna take a couple passes, probably like six or seven. Let's see, let's try to be as efficient as possible. And kind of go back this way. Okay, it's actually not as bad as I kind of thought it was. The only hard part is I'm leaving pretty big streaks in certain places, as you can see. So it's just like the cleanup work. That's going to maybe take a bit of time. Yeah, I'm missing like all that corner. Let's try that again. But, uh, you know, that left side's actually looking pretty good. And some sections, you know. But hey, we're already at 82%, so not bad, not bad. Again, a lot quicker than I really thought it would be. Okay, essentially just doing like a little kind of cleanup run here. Already at 99.4%. I'm just a little bit worried that, you know, since it's saying 10.8% every now and then, that uh, we might go to the sign and then it thinks it's only like 10.8% complete. Although I don't think it would let us finish, but I'm wondering if that's what happened on the other street. On, uh, what was it called? Faith Avenue? Let's see, 99.5, eh, I'm not going to worry about those little, little, like, spots. I'm going to go for these kind of bigger streaks here. Just, you know, turns into, like, wall riding, essentially. 99.6, not bad, not bad, 99.7. Yeah, that was definitely a pretty good chunk there. Let's try to get this little line. Couple of these, 99.8. Oh, man, we might not get it quite to 100, but uh, it should still be okay-ish. Got a couple big chunks here. How's that? Yeah, 99.8. Good enough, good enough. Uh oh, I think I spawned like outside. <laughs> okay, let's come over here. Water drive. Says we did 100 technically, but gosh, only get 539. I wonder if that means uh, the school, right? Yeah, school playground. Okay, but at least we're making some pretty good progress, and it seems like these properties pay pretty dang well. So uh, definitely maybe the next upgrade is just better wheels for the little tractor. Because, uh, yeah, it's a little hard to maneuver this truck into some of those areas. So definitely going to try that out. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching and see you next time.